Well, Nigerians in the diaspora are excited about um, our growing democracy. And so they're all monitoring the electoral process. And that's because they know that home is home. You'd always go back home and they have families at home. And so some of them are on various social media platforms. I follow a lot of them and I hear their arguments. And it's quite interesting the kind of passion they put into most of these discussions. And it tells me that they're really passionate about Nigeria and they want Nigeria to grow. So let's hear the views of some Nigerians in Canada concerning the elections that took place on Saturday. Looking at the electorate and the passion and uh, their interest, yes, they were very passionate and they were quite engaged. I would say that Nigeria is growing. It would be unfair to compare Nigeria to the US or even to the UK. I know that on social media and in, in other conversations, people like to compare Nigeria to the U to the UK or to the US, but that would be a little bit unfair because we're a green democracy and we don't have a lot of the infrastructure they do have. Now, is that because we can't afford to? Uh, we're not gonna go into that at this point. The fact is just that we don't have the infrastructure to organize the quality of elections that these other nations are able to. So we have to manage our expectations. People are more excited about this election. They came out in, in droves and they know why they, they want to vote. Uh, people now put value um, you know, behind their vote. You find some people that want to, still want to go to the old system of buying votes and the other party was pushing the idea of less focus on issue and focus on integrity and, uh, and see whether you know, like Nigeria believe in that. And I think either way, you know, the result will tell us which way Nigeria is, you know, is focused on. The awareness now is massive. People you think don't know things or never used to pay attention to things about politics everybody wants to know what's happening and it's good because it makes the politicians or our leaders be up and doing. The turnout of the election was very good. Um, more and more Nigerians uh, decided to come out to try and vote and to decide uh, to make a decision or make a stand as to who they want to lead the country. Um, uh, it, fell, it fell between APC and PDP but still, like, um, more candidates. This is one of the first elections that we know that more candidates have actually been involved and more political parties were registered in this uh, election. So it was a good turnout. But overall, I think uh, one of the issues I had with the election was the, the security. For INEC, in as much as I know they did their best or they tried to do their best, we, we had problems of um, the PVC not being, you couldn't scan a PVC. That is something that should not happen, then you have to manually input names. If you have your PVC, you should be able to like come there, vote quickly, and leave. <laughs> right? We had problems of like uh, INEC officials not coming early, and uh, maltreatment before <laughs> and after of like people who volunteered to help with running the election. I don't think that the cause of violence is ignorance on the part of the voters. I don't think that's the biggest source of violence. Actually, I think it's more of political manipulation rather than ignorance on the part of the voters. It's because certain politicians go about funding such violence, continue to feed it, continue to fledge the embers of the fire. There are pockets of difficulties here and there, but those are supposed to be expected in a nation of 200 million people. So a lot of things are going on that we think that will continue to make better milestones in the political development and processes of Nigeria. I will give a, a, a preemptive congratulation to those that are going to win. And for those that don't, if they must challenge them, absolutely, is within their rights. If they have the evidence, let them challenge it. We believe we are moving ahead in the right direction. We are, however, concerned about social media results being peddled on some format. I'm appealing for peace, for patience, for our people just to wait until the official result comes out from INEC. And when the result comes out, I'm appealing for all the politicians 
and all the people of the country to please embrace the results, the voice of the people. We should not lose hope. The good thing about these elections is that a lot of people that were there, they decided to go out and vote. They decided to be participatory. On social media, a lot of information has been given forth. People have been exchanging and keeping themselves aware. I think we should continue to participate in the process, continue to make ourselves aware of what is going on, and that would continue to help us to be able to bridge the gaps and move forward. And that's a bit from here, but of course you can expect that we'll keep monitoring and following uh, issues as they unfold here in Canada and we'll report back to you. Till then, it's back to you in the studio.